Police employees claim to stand for justice, to protect those most vulnerable, and to be public servants. But is that true? What is a servant? According to Dictionary.com, a person employed by another, or a person in the service of another. What is a master? Again, look into Dictionary.com. A person with the ability or power to use, control, or dispose of something, or an owner of a slave. With these definitions in mind, would you say that police employees act more like servants or masters? It's no mystery why police employees behave like masters and not servants. Unlike butchers and bakers and candlestick makers, police employees don't earn your money by serving you. They simply take it through taxation, fines, and asset forfeiture. Consider how this perverse incentive manifests. Say that a friend of yours is shot. For the most part, police treat it as just another day at the office. Reports are written, paperwork is shuffled, sometimes a half-hearted search is done, but that's about the extent of it. But if a police employee is shot, entire towns are locked down, all points bulletins are transmitted to corporate media, property rights of those in the area are violated, innocent bystanders shot by police are brushed away, and taxpayer money is used to offer a bounty. In George Orwell's classic novel Animal Farm, the pigs are able to rule over all the other animals using the phrase, all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. And just like the pigs in Animal Farm, when one group claims the sole right to make and interpret the rules, we see today that those who purport to serve us actually place a higher value on themselves. For example, prescribing the same action done towards a police employee is deserving of more punishment than if done to a non-police employee. So, are police employees more equal than you or me? An outsider looking in could only conclude yes, but such double standards are not conducive to a free society. Pull back the curtain on the course of monopoly that is the injustice system. Realize that the entire corrupt apparatus relies on perceived legitimacy, and choose not to grant it any. What kind of society do you want to live in? One where everyone is treated as an equal? Or one in which some are slaves and others are masters? If you truly believe that badges don't grant extra rights, act like it.